Hey, Jason Julius here. And in this video, I wanna talk about three popular testosterone boosting supplements that are in a lot of major supplement stacks that most people don't realize should be used a little bit more cautiously. And to be clear, I'm not against using these supplements. However, I think each one of them has some serious caution points that most people don't even really realize. Now, the first supplement I wanna mention is a very popular one, and that is ashwagandha. Now, I know this is a favorite for a lot of guys, and it's in a lot of testosterone supplement stacks, but hear me out. Now, there's a lot of good data that suggests ashwagandha really can increase testosterone naturally. One of those studies was in 2015, and it involved 57 men between ages 18 and 50 years old. The group that took 300 milligrams of ashwagandha twice daily averaged a 15% increase in testosterone over the eight week study. Now, it's thought that ashwagandha increases testosterone via a number of different ways, including reducing the stress hormone called cortisol. And it might even increase luteinizing hormone, which is an important precursor to testosterone. Now, it sounds all good, and it really is all good in the beginning. You see, these studies like these, they don't go past eight weeks. And what most guys don't realize, and the guys selling you the supplement stacks won't tell you, is that most guys need to cycle off of ashwagandha or you're gonna to start to see diminishing returns or maybe even negative side effects over the long durations of time. Why? Because for many guys, it's helpful to bring that balance to stress hormones like cortisol in the beginning. However, unless you're highly stressed all the time, you may be blunting cortisol or keeping it too low. After feeling good in the beginning, unless you regularly cycle off, many guys begin to start to notice a lack of energy, or really on the extreme end, maybe even erectile dysfunction. Now, personally, I love ashwagandha, but I only use it during super stressful days, like maybe two or three times a week max. If you're someone who takes it regularly, I would recommend every four weeks taking one week off so that you're not only not building a tolerance, but you're also avoiding all the downsides as well. Okay, the second supplement that I wanna bring a word of caution to is zinc. This is usually one of the first things that you hear about when you wanna optimize your testosterone naturally is you gotta take zinc. And this makes complete sense when you see the studies that have found a correlation between zinc deficiency and low testosterone. And studies have shown that men with low zinc who do supplement zinc do in fact increase their testosterone. So as you may have guessed, zinc has become a staple in most supplement stacks that are out there because Zinc is in fact important for testosterone production. However, the big dark side of it all is this, that no one talks about that long-term zinc supplementation can lead to copper depletion in the body. And as someone who has ran into this and experienced it for myself in my 30s, I can tell you that low copper is no joke. It causes fatigue, food sensitivities, iron dysregulation, and all kinds of issues and it's not really an imbalance that you can fix overnight by just taking copper because the body doesn't like to hold on to copper the way that it does other minerals. So once the imbalance happens, it can take a long time to correct. So when it comes to zinc supplementing, it's really great if you've tested yourself and you know that you're low. Most guys really never test themselves. They just start taking zinc or get it from their supplement stack and it feels good for like six months. And because they're not actually testing their levels, they won't know if they really need more zinc or whether they're running all the copper out of their body. So testing your zinc and copper levels is key here. But if you're someone who's taking zinc regularly, I would caution that after a few months of taking it, you definitely want to balance it by taking two milligrams of copper for every 15 to 20 milligrams of zinc. In fact, there's almost never any reason to take more than 15 or 20 milligrams of zinc. Any more than that, and you're asking for an imbalance of minerals in the long run. Now, our third supplement that comes with a caution is fenugreek. Fenugreek is a popular herb often used for its potential benefits in boosting testosterone levels and enhancing libido. You'll find it added to a lot of supplement stacks for that reason. However, fenugreek contains a compound that can inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which is an important enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. DHT is a potent androgen that plays a significant role in you know, maintaining and developing muscle mass, strength. It's also you know, crucial for things like sexual function and libido. 
So if you take fenugreek, you may increase your testosterone, but less of it will be able to be converted to DHT, which is also another important androgen. Now, this is a situation where getting tested and knowing your numbers is important. Some guys have super high DHT, which can be the cause of things like male pattern baldness or benign prosthetic hyperplasia. And for those guys, it could be beneficial to take fenugreek to bring down those high levels. However, for a lot of guys, lowering DHT can cause hormone imbalance, and it can be the opposite effects of what you wanted in the long run. So knowing your numbers is important and use caution with fenugreek if it's added to your supplement stack. Okay, I hope this video helped bring some awareness and clarity so that you can make informed and empowered decisions when it comes to supplementing for natural testosterone optimization. Now my team and I put together a really awesome report that gives you our top three supplements for boosting testosterone and the top three supplements that you definitely want to avoid. Now this is a must read for any guy who really wants to boost testosterone, feel great, but also avoid potentially harmful substances. You can download it for free over at my blog at jasonjulius.com. So make sure you go over there and grab that. And if this video was helpful, please make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content. Be sure to give it a thumbs up as that really does help the channel. And be sure to leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video.